low Concord nipples. Creativity and madness supreme. She's gone. I saw her. She did that. An Anglo-American manned shuttle, the Churchill, has detected a spacecraft at the head of Halley's Comet. The size of it is incredible, like a small country in space. Anywho, naturally, they send a boarding party who find life. Three people in suspended animation. After retrieval, they head back to Earth. Suddenly, communication goes down. The Churchill comes to grief. And that's just the beginning. Some things you should leave alone. But curiosity, the chance to study is so great. forgetting that this was released the same year as Fright Night. The only thing that links the two is vampires, but they are two very different movies. There are so many names attached to this. Dan O'Bannon, who co-wrote Alien and Total Recall, who in that particular year directed the cult classic Return of Living Dead. John Dykstra, one of the founders of Industrial Light and Magic, who worked on Star Wars, Star Trek, the original Battlestar Galactica, Sam Raimi's Spider-Man, and the last four Quentin Tarantino movies. Special makeup effects by Nick Malley, who worked under the legend Stuart Freeborn on Star Wars and Superman. And he had just done Krull. Cinematographer Alan Hume, who had shot a number of Carry On movies, three James Bond movies, and had just shot Return of the Jedi. The star is American Steve Railsback, a unique actor. He played Charles Manson in the TV adaptation of Helter Skelter, which was a major ratings win. And later on, Ed Gein. Fans of the X-Files will remember him as Dwayne Barry. Well, my God, for you, Doc. Because this time you're going with Dwayne Barry. So you can see what it's like. That it's real! Appearances by respected members of stage, screen and television. Peter Firth, best remembered for the BBC show Spooks. Frank Finley, a multi-genre talent. And Patrick Stewart, possibly the greatest actor Britain has ever produced. And this two years before he entered immortality as Captain Jean-Luc Picard. I agree with Leonard Moulton's assessment of this. It's completely crazy, ridiculous, but so bizarre, it's fascinating. It is, it's bonkers, it's brilliant. It's 80s cult cinema at its best. Close your eyes. 